Hello IT Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your host Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to track a network cable that is not labeled. I wanted to do this video for a long time but I never really have the chance until now. So for that I'm going to use this tone generator and probe kit or wire tracer. So maybe you have it, maybe you don't, but if you don't I'm going to leave the link in the description below as always. So uh, what is this going to do is, uh, well first this one has an RJ11 connector, which is for phones, but it also can be used for network, which is what we are going to do right now. And now this, as you can see, it has three lights and it's going to send um, a frequency, which is going to be detected by this guy that I'm holding right now. Now, these two obviously are going to need some battery. So for that, uh, I have these two here. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to need two. And now I'm going to put them in so you can see how they work and and then i'm going to show you more when we do the actual work so i'm going to turn it on and that's the tone so that's the frequency is sending right now through the, that frequency is going to through is going to travel through the cable and it's going to be picked up by this guy so the dial in this guy is like that so it's, it's going to increase the volume or decrease the volume so that's how it works so i don't have anything else to show you here so we're going to continue to the actual work Okay, here we are. As you can see, we have this double plate, which means two drops, can be four, can be one, doesn't really make a difference, and they are not labeled at all. So I don't know really where in the patch panel these are supposed to be. Now I'm going to show you the patch panel in a few minutes. Uh, let me give you some context here. So this is a new facility. It's a three-story building for this company. And the cabling guys came, well, many months ago. They do all the cabling and all that for e every floor. And I don't have a, a reason, I don't have an answer for why they forgot this specific office. But it's not such a, such a big deal, in my opinion, at least in my experience that happens. Sometimes they forgot two, one, four, five, depending how big the project is. In this case, they just forgot these two. For me, it's, I mean, that's what we have. And thanks to that, I, I can do this video. So depending on where you are working, you might have a closet on every floor, which is, I have seen that a lot. In the case of this specific building, they only have the server room where everything, all the cabling goes there. The rack is there, I'm going to show you later. And that's what we have to follow. We have to trace this cable, these two drops, these two network ports, where they are going, where the cabling is going. So then we can label them or we can write it down. All right. So in order for us to do that, we're going to use one of the pieces. And But, but before, we have a, a PoE phone, which means power over Ethernet. That means if I connect this phone, is going it is supposed to have power but nothing is happening okay so you can see it there it's not turning on it's not blinking it's not doing anything so i'm going to try the other port just to show you that nothing is happening on on, on this phone it's not receiving any power from from the switch and okay it's verified no none of these two ports ha are connected to the switch okay so now what we are going to do is using our tool that I explained a few minutes ago, we're going to uh, start sending the signal. Okay, so we can trace the, uh, the cable. So I have turned it on. I'm going to make a close up. There you go. The tone is off now and it's on now. It was off, now it's on. So it's, uh, it's sending the signal through the cable. Now what I have to do and you would have to do is go to the server room or to the closet and with the other part of the um, uh, uh, with the other tool we can find the cable all right so i'll see you in the server room welcome back well welcome for the first time so this is the server room this is the rack here we can see the switches and the patch panel Please don't criticize the cabling, that's not the point of the video. So on the top we can see the first switch. This is an Aruba and that's the patch panel. Everything on the first floor starts with 100. Here we have a Cisco switch, which is the commission. We are not going to use it anymore. And by the way, if you want to know how to reset the password for a Cisco switch, you can click on the video on the top right of the screen. This is the second switch for the second floor. 
and below it the patch panel everything started with 200 now this is another Cisco switch and this is the third one the one we are interested in because our office is on the third floor so this one is also an Aruba 40A port and below it is the patch panel so here is what we need to track the cable here is what the cable has to reach any cable has to reach here well depending on the floor this is the third one like I mentioned so as you can see I'm going to uh, the next step is use the probe now the other part of the of the tool this one I'm going to turn it on so you can hear it there and now we're going to test it so I'm going to look for some available ports on the patch panel the ones that don't have a cable and now I'm sorry guys I only have I'm holding my cell phone with one hand and the tool with the other so I have found two 305 and 306 if you see it well so the only thing you have to do is put very gently uh, the the probe into the port very gently so you don't damage anything so I'm going to test it here as well 324 is not making any noise it didn't make any noise for 305 or 306 so I'm going to go to the next row and oh I forgot this one uh, well here I'm showing you the the second row which is 344 348 and all that but I missed these two ports 310 and 311 so we're going to test it out sorry uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of difficult to do it with with two hands uh, I mean moving the cables and all that so do you hear it so that's the sound it should make so 310 is where the uh, the tone generator the sound generator is connected on the third floor so you can hear it so now I'm going to, to put it in the 311 nothing happens again 310 and there you go so that's what is telling us we trace the cable to this port on the patch panel so I'm going to try another port just to make my point I don't know why I did it many times <laughs> But the, uh, I don't know why, uh, what, 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 I, what I was thinking. So again, I'm in three, 310. I have the sound. I traced the cable. I know this is the correct port. And I don't need it anymore. So I make my point. I made my point. Uh, I tested it on many other ports. So you can understand. You can see how it works. So now what I need to do is with a cable with an ethernet cable I have to connect it to an available port on the switch in this in this case on the third floor switch which is the one that is on top of this patch panel so I'll show you here but I reach a conclusion since we have 312 and 39 on the on other side next to 3 310 and 311 I can conclude that the two ports upstairs that are not that they don't have any connectivity are these two so we can do that and I'm going to connect uh, 310 first I'm going to look an available port on the switch now as you can see there we have a, a few candidates I have one there and I'm going to connect it there so the light is not going to turn on because nothing is connected to this port on the third floor but I'm going to show you in a few more minutes so now it's connected so now we know it's going to have connectivity it's going to have power it's going to have a network okay so since we are doing this I'm going to connect like I said 311 as well and the reason for the cable colors is I was told that the blue one is for everything that is not a telephone it can be a, a desktop computer can be a printer the red ones are for access points and the black ones are for telephones so that's a good way to do it in any other company uh, so that way you know oh, uh, all the black ones are phones or something like that so you you know that as soon as you see the, the rack so now both are connected to the patch panel and to the um, to the switch so I don't have anything else to do here guys so we are going to go back to the office okay to continue the work so I'll see you in a few seconds hello guys welcome back to the office not the show this office <laughs> now we can see the tone generator on there I'm going to disconnect it and now I'm going to show you the phone one more time and we are going to connect it one more time to test it out so I'm going to connect it to the drop on the top which is 310 now and as you can see it has power the since it's patched to the patch panel to the switch now is delivering 
power. So I'm going to connect it now to the one below, which would be 311, the last one we have, we have patch, and there you go, we have uh, we have power on the phone. So now I'm making some time for everything to load, <laughs> and you can see it there. By the way, it doesn't have to be working, it doesn't have to be a working phone, for example, maybe it's not configured in your company, or maybe it is. In my case, it's configured. I'm going to test out uh, the dial tone. There you go, but it doesn't have to do it. It's, I'm just showing you that this port is connected and now has power. Okay, it's connected to the switches in the network. So, so we are missing something here. Can you tell me what it is? Yes, we have to label it. So allow me a few seconds, maybe minutes, and I'm going, and now it's labeled. So as you can see, you can grab a labeling machine or anything, and you can put it there. So you, you see there 310 and below 311. The ports we have seen in the patch panel, now we can know where exactly these two are going. So I'm going to put in second because as we have discussed a few minutes before, three, uh, the ones that has the black cable are used for phones. So just for technical things, I mean, for maybe an inventory, uh, for you to know where things are going, how they are connected. So a color code is always helpful. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, a way you can trace uh, Ethernet cables through your organization, depending on how big it is and how messy it is, it's going to take more or less time, okay? So if you want to follow me on social media, you can do it in Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.